Hello and welcome everybody on my channel. It's called Ambitious Kid. Today I want to share with you the story about me getting trip hard on Amanita Spanterina. Since you guys interested in, I want to share the story of how it's happened and what it actually was like. And to be honest, to be fair, I'll tell you that I, I'll tell you that it was the real powerful experience, much more powerful than the psilocybin, much more powerful than other psychedelic substances like LSD or something and it actually changed my life and it changed my life for the best so I want to share the story with you so you can understand more about these mushrooms of how they affect the body affect your brain and do they have any you know any pros and cons about this mushroom because I'm originally from Russia I'm Russian and right now I live in, in Jamaica and in Russia it's over the past few years, it's like the big boom in the Amanita world and the, the world of mushrooms itself. Uh, and I'm kind of was in the starting, in the formation of this wave. So I tried, uh, I tried Amanitas for first time that I get the trip uh, about five years ago. I tried them when I was 17. I just wanted to get high. It was like my real true intentions. I was trying to find the psilocybin mushrooms in my forest. But turns out that they don't grow there so i found the amanitas i read about them that they strong the the amanita panterina is actually like the black mushroom you can get like the amanita muscaria the red one and the amanita panterina which is five times more stronger more potent more toxic whatever you call it so i collected them about the bag uh, I cure them as you should, yeah, you should cure them, you should dry them before you're eating them, otherwise you get like a real hard stomach upset, you get vomiting, and by the way, other species of Amanitas might be poisonous, even deadly, like deadly poisonous, and you gotta be careful with picking up the mushrooms and never pick the mushrooms that you don't know. So, keep continue on, I dry them, uh, I let them cure about a few months, and after that I decided to eat them. I ate them, I ate them on the empty stomach, uh, and it lasted about uh, 12, 12 to, no, it's, it, it lasted me more, it lasted me about 14 hours. I ate like two cups, uh, it was about three, maybe four grams about, um, in the equivalent of grams, uh, and it was like two cups, two cups, I ate two cups, and um, since that, 30 minutes passed, I started feeling like a little strange. I started to feel uplifting, I started to feel like energizing, I wanted to, you know, to, to kind of interact, run, I don't know, do some push-ups, exercises, I felt funny inside myself. So I was moving, I was speaking, you like, mm, you're feeling the stimulation, you get the stimulation first and it's all funny and cool, uh, you know, the interesting, you even get some kind of the hallucination. I remember that I started walking like by the by the room and it was the carpet just underneath and I was standing like in the middle of the carpet looking at it and it started flapping just like a book you imagine me I, I'm, I'm, I'm just staying in the middle of the carpet and it's just like whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm like all right okay then this this carpet started to do like the you know like the if the windows got errors it started to pop up like the windows like this like yeah, like a lot of windows. Yeah, I started to, to see these visions like and I was like, all right, okay, okay, it's fun and stuff. And then I felt like I wanna just lay down and chill because this stimulation about like 10 to 15 minutes probably it lasted. And then it slowed down to the, to the like the mellow effect of me wanted to lay down, kind of chill, you know? So I decided to do it right i just lay down my friend by the way i had a i had a friend with me so uh because this is like the substance which is really you know it, it affects everybody uh, in a certain way so you have to have the sitter with you so you don't like break yourself bones or anything y'all i'll explain you why you need the sitter a little bit later you'll understand why so basically uh, he, he, he was playing some computer games and I just asked him like, yo, I, I'll be with you so you just can take care of me or so on. He said, all right. So I, I lay down 
and I started to feeling that I am becoming uh, like frisbee or something. I don't know. I I I was I had the genial feel, feeling that my left foot trying to trying to get around and connect to my left to my right ear. So imagine, yeah, you can imagine, yeah, my um, <laughs> my feelings there. I'm feeling like I'm I'm going to frisbee, <laughs> like I'm banging like this, and I started spinning. And I and I understand that if my left head, uh, if my left foot will actually complex to my to my ear, I'm gonna be I'm gonna die. So I'm I, got, I have like genuine feeling of this will happen, but I cannot do anything because I'm like I'm like not in control anymore, and I'm just laying down, waiting till this happen, and it, and it happened like <laughs> two minutes after or so, and I started spinning. Have you seen like the the cosmonauts? Like the like the spacemen, they they doing their trainings in the like centrifuge that they spin so fast. This was kind of kind of kind of like this um, feeling inside, but it was like much more faster. Imagine yourself if you seen the Interstellar, it was something like this. So I was just starting spinning slowly and then faster, 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 faster until until I just completely you know let off this ground and uh, let off the understanding of the reality and where is the the ground where is the like uh, forces of gravity yeah i lost the sense of this completely and i understood like okay i'm just out of my body i'm out of somewhere i don't know where am i what happens i'm just not here like my soul just went up somewhere i don't know where it is it was like maybe i was still inside because i felt my soul dis like disappeared from my body yeah a little bit later but before that i was spinning 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 and there's a big uh, big like cartoonish type of graphic popped up in my head which will look like say, speedometer imagine yourself the speedometer and there's like they got the 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 arrow and whichever direction it goes it either uh paints this round either red color or green color which means if the if it goes like this and all the circle becomes red i'm gonna die so i started to you know to fight with this and making this uh, the arrow goes different direction so it makes it green so i was different i was literally fighting for my life inside my head and it was um uh, it was go along with with the feelings of me like really dying and feeling pain uh, and terror and, and and fear and it's not like kind of fear and terror that you feel on the psilocybin it's a much much more different type of the fear and and, and, and the like the feelings that you're feeling it's not like from the <laughs> from from different mushroom you like seeing on amanitas you like seeing the the horrors of the horror like the like the worst that you can imagine yourself like you didn't even think that it's possible uh, the mushroom shows you that it happens and it can't be so the basic idea after the trip of Amanita you've seen like I don't know you've seen like hell <laughs> like literally you've seen hell uh, and you've seen even worse than hell and you feel even worse than hell then after that you like uh, kind of forced <laughs> like you by yourself you force yourself to to move to better you know after the trip this like the main mechanics this stays after stays behind the, the whole trip so i started to feeling myself dying and eventually i lost the fight of me and i like the, 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 the this whole diagram become red and i felt like a lot of pain and i felt like i'm dying and it was like it was like crazy <laughs> like for real i I never tried it another time and uh, like I know a lot of people are selling these mushrooms for different for little different purposes but the people they are also trying this and getting trips so usually the people get like the same idea every time so the, I think that you cannot deny the, the the effect that the Amanita trip is actually like producing because uh, it just turns my life in a different direction after I died in my head right after I died I've seen my soul just putting up pulling out of, of my body I've seen like the, the yard my friend and stuff like I'm seeing like 
just right now so real um, and I'm just seeing like myself elevating in this space you know so far 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 from the uh, from the earth until the earth become the, like the round planet yeah like I see it from the space and then it starts spinning into the like into the time frame it starts spinning uh, a little more I don't know it, it was feeling like it it's been in like in the direction of time you know forward but it's probably was spinning in the uh, in the back because I became some kind of like I, I see like I've been there yeah the, the planet I'm here and I'm just like boom, put up somewhere in this planet and I see like this like the like the picture like this uh, hence they driving the, the some kind of the the car I'm old there is the old granny there some different granny I never seen them there is like the, the like the road then and this is like the American road because there was like the green signs and, and stuff like this and the concrete you know the concrete chasse so I cannot do anything I can just watch and I can watch the, like I'm the like the grandpa there is like the grandma I'm an old guy and I'm just driving I cannot like do anything I'm just you know listening and seeing and I just had a thought to myself like fuck why would I become like a, a vision of somewhere why do I can't you know do anything I felt myself you know uh, uh, ignorant so I, I was ignorant to that life that I was presented to after I died yeah it's like I became someone's vision and I was like complaining about this the second I complained about this I just get put out of the body and I and I became like the country uh, country like a concrete stuff I became a, I became a concrete and the moment I became a concrete I understood like fuck you shouldn't be so ignorant you should like mm, you should understand the like be thankful for the things you got be thankful for the life you got because the moment I felt dying the moment I died uh, I thought about my parents like what will they think of me what would they think like why did I die am I just a retarded guy who came to the like the forest to trip found some mushrooms eat them down and died like <laughs> was it like the mine you know main target in the life to die like at 17 by some kind of the mushrooms and I just realized that and all this you know mm, all this type of feeling they were uh, mixed up with the extreme pain extreme fear and um, after that I started feeling something something outside of you know this kind of perception of the reality I started to feel myself like getting back and um, the moment I opened my eyes I haven't seen anything so it was like more, my friends were there they were slapping me they were trying to wake me up uh, but they, they, this is actually wasn't working I, I, I was completely out I, I wasn't there even they they opened my eyes I was looking like straight you know through them like the ghost or something when I started it was like probably about eight to ten hours after all the like the like the trip happened i was starting to waking up and i still had that uh, had that you know sense of the of different type of the gravitation because i was literally trying to put my foot here i was feeling that the gravitation the ground is here not here but there you know so i was trying to put my feet there because i was like completely disorientating uh, and the, the main the main um, uh, danger thing the, like the, ma the main dangerous there if you eating the amanita is it like you're not in the control of your body when you're tripping and you can simply just fall you can just jump and fall you know because of you like you are not here and this is the, the main basic um, idea what you need to be like taken care of this why you need the trip sitter someone to, like who will take your like the care of you so you don't you don't fall and die you know what I'm saying you, or you don't do, you don't fall and break your bones after that after that trip the trip of, on the like the Amanitas Panterina uh, it took me about a year to understand that like this particular trip changed my life completely because before that um, my lifestyle was simply like the computer games girls party drugs I don't know like the alcohol whatever you just you know you're just moving having fun and didn't give a shit 
after that trip imagine yourself like 17 after that trip i understood like okay i have this life i have the purpose in life um i want to be successful i want to like uh, achieve something i want to become a better man because it, it, it's not a point if i die in 17 achieve nothing or it's it, it's like this not a point if i die at 17 achieve nothing that's why i become hustling i become you know moving in different direction in the, in the direction that uh, i'm interested in so i started to dig up i started to dig digging and exploring and it took me about a year to understand that actually this this experience it changed my life and it's ne it, it never was some complaining about this i'm just happy that i do i did that and i think personally that the the mushrooms itself they found me because um, most of the people i'm like me i'm selling the mushrooms through the instagram and i'm selling them for a long time i'm selling uh, the amanitas i'm selling lion's mane cardiceps here in jamaica i host the salicybin retreats and stuff so uh, i'm with mushrooms like for a long time and the main idea what i what do i do i consult people how to and what for you know so they are like um reaching me saying okay i have this this type of problems for example it can be like alcoholism it can be like the chronic depression something 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 i don't know they cannot uh, function properly they have the alzheimer whatever i and i just help them i sell them the mushrooms and the, the mushrooms that they need and i tell them how to eat them and how to microdose or or how to you know macro dose or micro dose or do they need like the trip or or the little trip you know uh, and I can consulting them and making them right so they feel better and the people they actually like involving in themselves they opens like their you know they got walls in their head and they breaking this out without even getting you know uh, any uncomfortable feelings of so because if you like doing the right micro dosing with right dosage and it's like assisted because I know how to do it I had a lot of people for this last three years I had like ton of the people which I was consulting and helping them so I know the mechanics of these mushrooms in particular exactly by the way you can buy them in my Instagram or telegram the links are down below there you can just reach me out and I'll I'll consult you whatever it's, it's like the not a problem you can reach me don't be shy and we can send send it to you no matter where you are we can send it okay and this is like real high quality product which is which is real cool because um, it's hard to find the high quality products and most of the time they are sold down to some big corporation because like the the mushroom is the mushrooms is a big thing in russia as i've said and now it becomes like more worldwide more people want to get into this even the in the usa i've seen uh, i've seen videos about the amanita dreamers i've seen that the people get into amanita and the thing is that the amanitas that grow in russia they are really potion and uh, they are originally the land of the amanitas and this kind of the mushrooms they are like close to russia to the nordic type of you know uh, part of the of the global so yeah i think that if you're interested in it, you can just let me know in the comments because um, i'm trying my best and i want to to make like the 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 permit to formate the community here down on the youtube channel uh and formate the community like into my instagram attract more english speakers because like i have the community about the, the russian speaker community yeah but now i want more people to understand and know i want to share it with more people i want to share what i know how it works how like how do they use it for benefits and the benefits actually huge for example if you haven't seen my different videos you can check them out like here you know on the channel i'm talking about the micro dosing i'm talking about the amanitas in general like which you know which benefits benefits they have and i'll probably will make them more video and I will make more videos about uh, lines main. I'll make more videos about the cardiceps. I will make more videos. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to leave a like, to leave the comment. Uh, it will help me grow, actually. So, and yeah, check out the links down below. There's my Instagram. I, I, I post mostly in Instagram. There's some fun things, you know, like the 
nature that here in Jamaica, whatever. So yeah, don't be snob and subscribe to me. Bye.